So McCall's about to have a mental break. Where is she? McCall? What are you doing all the way down there? What are you... Oh, I'm gonna go get that food. Well, it's fine, I guess. Serena's fixing up our broken-ass sandbags. We're gonna have to replace that turret. Let's, uh... Get a reminder here of what Nana can do. She's a good shooter. She's a good cook, and she's good at medicine. Let's take a look here. Uh, let's put firefighting back on Zareen. Take Warden off her. McCall can be our Warden. Uh, I think Zareen's gonna be our Doctor. But we'll leave Doctoring on everybody. Because they're all pretty good at it. Uh, what else can we have? Let's turn cleaning on on Nana. And I think that'll be fine for right now. Nana needs a gun, though. Let's get her that Enfield. It's right there. Why not? Zareen needs a gun, too. We'll have her grab this pistol. Now I'll have to do for now. Do we ever... No. Okay, let's, uh, see if we can bury our good friend, uh, Urist here. Well, which one's Urist? That one. Right? Yeah. But we can't haul it because there's nowhere configured to hold it. Because apparently this grave doesn't count. I think we might have to, uh, disable the stockpile briefly. We'll have Nana grab a wrist. Hopefully we'll get him in the uh, the cemetery, or the grave. Let's get up time a little bit. And I'll replace that uh, that stockpile in a moment. Okay. So now our wrist is decently buried. We can set up another dumping stockpile. Uh, there we go. And make it just for corpses. But not colonist corpses. Combat supplier. Uh, Serene, why are you suddenly wounded? Oh, heat stroke. Wow, it's 38 degrees. Okay. Let's, uh, get inside out of the sun. Let's have Nana go talk to the combat supplier. So they'll take some of these weapons. We can give him a knife. It's worth quite a lot of money, actually. And we're gonna need to buy some medical supplies. Let's get 15. That should last us a little while. I don't know if we want to buy any guns. No, I think we'll... I think we'll keep, uh... Keep a little bit of money here. But some more medical supplies is definitely very welcome. We need to find someone who can, who, who will take all these clothes we've been stealing off people. Let's hope this heat wave doesn't last too long. Especially given our power problems. Because that could be bad. How many clothes are you wearing? Not a lot. We could tell these guys to take off some of their clothes. But honestly, the heat wave probably isn't going to last too long. Yeah, there we go. Heat wave is over. Uh, let's figure out what we need to do. Whoops, that's not the right button. Let's build a replacement turret 
for this one that got destroyed. And that'll have to do for now. We don't really have a lot of metal. We've got a bunch of silver that we're digging out. Oh, there's a whole load of metal up here. Let's... That's still not the right button, guy. Let's get this metal, as well as the silver. And... Let's keep accelerating some time. I think we're going to need to further increase our power uh, situation. The batteries are not charging nearly as fast as I'd like. So let's do that. We'll slow down time while we do so. And we will... Let's double our number of solar cells. Like so. Uh, maybe we could put some more wind turbines in as well. Shall we? Should we do that? No, let's uh, let's leave that for now. We'll we'll see what happens after we get these solar generators up. Nana is finally chopping down some trees. And we're about to run out of power again. Yep, there we go. We really should have geothermal power by now, but I decided we were going to build miles away from any geothermal vents. Because that is awesome thaw for. Thaw. Eh. For thought. There we go. And get the fucking words out of my mouth hole. I'm thinking uh, soon we're going to crack open one of these things, see what's inside, because uh, the suspense and the not knowing is kind of killing me inside. So I think we'll do that tomorrow. We'll let these guys just busy themselves for today. And tomorrow we'll get everybody together and head on over there. Is there any spare vests around that we could give to Nana? Are we wearing all the bulletproof vests we have? I think we're wearing them all. Is this, is this for corpses? No. Turn the corpses off. That's just for crap, not for corpses. How's McCall feeling? I know she's been a little bit down recently. She's starting to feel a little bit better, that's good. How about Zareen? How are you feeling? She's feeling pretty good. Pretty average, anyway. Where is Nana? Nana? There you are. How are you feeling? Oh, you're still on a high from the uh, discussions with the Warden. Let's get Nana a nice, uh, nice jacket here. It's a little bit warm for jackets, but they look cool. We'll even get her a wrist hat. There we go. His memory will live on. He died right before we got Nana. I think she's even sleeping in his room. Where the hell's McCall? God, she went on a trek. Wanna go to bed? What's this? A medieval Farmolf is visiting. Hi, Farmolf. Nice to meet you. Once McCall gets up, we'll go and open one of those pods. Alright, let's grab everybody here. Well, we'll let Nana finish cooking first, and then we will. You don't want to leave the stove on. There we go. Let's get everybody up here. Hopefully this isn't going to go badly. Hi, guy. Or girl. They look pretty cool. I think we'll have McCall do the opening. She's got that machine gun. We'll leave Nana back here to cover. 
We're going to open this one because we can see it. Use that one for cover there. And open it. See what's inside. Uh-oh. Um, I didn't expect them all to open. Serena's down. Nana is down, and McCall is down. Um, well, that was a fucking terrible idea. Wow. So, that's gonna be the end of Saladar, I guess, unless Pi can save the day. Oh, there's nobody left to pick up our guys. Yep, Pi's fucked too. So our guys are just gonna bleed out. I didn't expect them all to pop open like that. I thought we'd have an opportunity to do them one by one. I was mistaken. Uh, but I think we're gonna have to have another colony on Alpha 8 here. I don't feel like I gave Alpha 8 a good run. I died in a, a completely ridiculous way. So, lessons to be learned. Well, better security, for one. Oh, that poor person is on fire. Better security, for one. It's something we always learn, it seems. Uh, do not open cryo sleep caskets. And what's the the green goo? Slime. Hmm. So yeah, uh, don't open cryo sleep caskets unless you're ready for a fight. Well, thank you, game. Thank you for destroying my crops, jerk. I think we might want to set up in a slightly cooler area next time. It's been a little bit warm here, and I'd like to experience some of the snow. That being said, it could snow in winter time, but we're never gonna find out. McCall, I think that's the least of your worries. You're fucking bleeding out. These guys are gonna trash our place. It's the last of our turrets, I believe. And now they're just gonna trash everything. Okay, well, this has been our first attempt at Alpha 8. Like I said, we are going to have another one. And hopefully things will go much, much better. Uh, but yeah, join me when we come back here for Alpha 8. I'm really disappointed, actually. That was a sudden and unexpected death that so frequently occurs in this game. But yeah, fuck those cryosleep sarcophagi. And I'll see you next time.